believe we are live. Let me move a few things around on the live control. There we go. Microphone's turned on. I'm like, something doesn't feel right. <laughs> Hi, last live in this group. It's Friday. We're coming to the end in January. Say hi when you're here. I see we've got people popping in. Um, I've got my notes and everything all squared away. So I am going to get started. Happy Friday again. Um, Jessica here. And like I mentioned, it is the last live in this group. Let me know if you can hear me okay as well, since I think everything's plugged in okay. Great. So I want to start off with a few things. First of all, a thank you for being in this Facebook group for over the past two years. Whenever you joined, um, it has been exciting. I've really enjoyed starting this group, growing this group over the past two years. So a lot of today's talk, um, I'm sharing about why I started the group, why I'm closing the group essentially, and not from a means of like sharing what's going on in my business, things that are going on, but more so how I always view things when I share in the group is through the lens of you through the lens of what can I share not for me but more so for you that you can you know what can you take from this what can you walk away with what lessons can I share um so that's what a lot of today's talk is about is really not sharing me closing this group for the sake of that but more so for the sake of lessons that you can take and apply to your own business um, and all of those good things so say hello when you're here I have my green tea that I just took the tea bag out. That's why I was a little late today because I spilled, I spilled the tea <laughs> all over my desk. And I took my notes, um, so I'm gonna try to roll on those as well. So over the past, I would say like mainly December and January, and I do this often in my business, is I kind of just check in. And there's never a designated time that I check in or put off to the side. It's really just random as I go. But of course, December, January is always a good time to kind of stop and say, okay, what's working? What isn't working? What feels good? What doesn't feel good? What feels heavy? All of those things. So around this December and January, I really started noticing that something felt heavy in my business. It felt like I was trying to do too many things. And in essence, I was doing nothing, which sounds like a very odd thing to say, but I was doing so much that I really wasn't showing up in a way that I normally show up. So I say a lot in this group, you know, show up less places, do less and do less better. Um, don't show up too many places because then you're, you'll water down your message you will eventually wear yourself out. And I also say to stop and evaluate what feels good in your business and what, does, what doesn't. And everything that I share in this group is essentially like I practice what I preach. I don't just share things that I've heard or what I've been told. It's like stuff that I do. And I always say those things because they're very, very true. They're true for you, for me. And I, again, I always practice what I preach. So I started this group two years ago, really because I loved having the idea of having like a designated space where I could show up, I could talk about business. And I knew that every time I showed up in this group, it was a group specifically of artists that chose to be there and chose to hear what I had to say, you know, and, um, and I knew it wasn't like clients. So it was almost like I was dabbling in a space where I felt comfortable, where I felt comfortable showing up and sharing my message and saying what I had to say to a group of people that I knew wanted to be there essentially. So I created the group to create a community and chat and share my thoughts and lessons. And really over the past two years, it started feeling like I essentially created two different businesses. I created me as an artist selling artwork and then me as an 
art coach, an art mentor. Um, and so what I realized over the past two months was that that didn't feel good. I knew that it was too much that I was creating content for Instagram and for the Facebook group and all of these things. And it felt almost disconjointed. And so I thought to myself, what could I do to make things feel together again? You know, like where can I join things back together to be a place where I could show up 100% and not feel like I need to create something here, create something there, just like back together. And it was funny because as I was trying to organize my, um, I would say a content calendar more so, just try to organize, okay, where I post things, what I'm posting and kind of have things planned. I actually laid out, okay, Facebook group, Instagram, Instagram stories. And it kind of hit me that Instagram is one platform, but I view my Instagram stories and my Instagram like feed as two, as two social things to show up to. So essentially by creating the Facebook group, then I was like putting three things on my plate and that started to feel heavy. Not that I don't enjoy showing up here because that's not what I'm getting at, but it just seemed like a lot. And so I thought to myself, I enjoy, the reason that I created this group is also for like that connection. I love connecting with people. And I know I put all of this like in that long post. I love connecting with people one on one. I love having those conversations. And while I loved this Facebook group and having this group of people that essentially are all artists running art businesses, at the same time, I felt like it almost put a space between me and and all of you. I felt like it put a space between that because what I like about Instagram is the fact that I could post in my stories or, you know, have a comment, but like you can easily just like message me and have that direct contact and share whatever you want to share, share something personal that you don't want to post in a group of 500 plus people, you know, and, and it's so easy and it's quick. You don't have to like go to the messenger and anything like that. But if you're in my stories, just a quick little one off and there I can share voice messages, do little videos. Like I just really liked that one on one connection. So when I go through my steps and this is kind of what I want to share. So when I go through my steps of what feels good and what doesn't like in my business I'll act I mean I'll ask myself I say self <laughs> that's a stupid joke anyways but I do I say okay what what feels good what what am I enjoying or what feels heavy and the feeling heavy part was really feeling like I am oh hold on I got a comment um sorry I'm stopping that hi Louisa sorry the comments are at the bottom for some reason instead of at the top so I couldn't see them. Okay, sorry, I got a little sidetracked. Just excited to see Luisa on here. Um, you know, I'll say, okay, like what feels heavy? So that's kind of my first step. And if something feels heavy and it felt to me like showing up too many places, okay, second thing, what can I do to change that? And one was kind of condense. My answer was to condense, to go back to really showing up one main place rather than two main places. I considered this Facebook group a main place that I wanted to show up and Instagram a main, play, a main place I wanted to show up as well. So going back to one platform. And then the next question I asked myself was, what is my intention? What is my goal? Like what would feel good? Because an important thing that I want to stress for me and for you, for all of our art businesses, I want to run an art business that I'm completely in love with. And I want you to run an art business that you are just head over heels over that. Not to say it isn't hard, not to say it isn't difficult because entrepreneurship and running a business is like the hardest thing. And if people sugarcoat it, that's insane to me because it's very difficult. It is so rewarding and I wouldn't change anything. I wouldn't do anything else. Um, but it is extremely challenging. And what I want is for us to create businesses that like we love, that we want to show up to every day, that feels good and doesn't feel like it's a chore or like it's an albatross that we have to carry, you know. So that is like my goal is 
to build an art business that I'm completely in love with. And that's what I want for all of you as well. So asking yourself when you get to that point, if something feels heavy, what is it? And really, what is your intention? So my intention with wanting to condense my social media, what I really wanted is obviously that connection, like that one-on-one. -on -one. That's why I created this group was to have more connection. But what it ended up feeling was almost like less one-on-one -on -one connection and additional things to do, you know? And it almost felt like it, it was just extra without the extra. Does that make sense? So what I realized was, um, popping back in my notes because I know I'm kind of going off on to a different rant but so what I decided was essentially to to end this Facebook group and really go back to showing up on Instagram because I, I can show up there ha, you know have my humor and my personality and just feel good sharing things off the cuff and that was another thing um that I wanted to just show up and like do a quick video or do a quick thing. And I felt like in this Facebook group, I would have to schedule a live, be at the desk. And again, that's just a story I told myself, but it just didn't feel as free flowy and showing up and just share little things that I think about or a lesson I learned a second ago, you know, and just keeping it very simple and very light and very casual, essentially. So with this group, I am ending it uh, January 31st, but I do want to say these videos and these lives, I am saving. I'm saving the content. I'm not just going to let it disappear into the world wide web for all time. I'm downloading these videos because what I'd like to do is to create like a free vault or a free library or something to where, um, you know, you could show up for free and like watch these videos. I don't know what that's going to look like. I don't know when that's going to be, but that is essentially what I'm wanting. Um, because I want these to still be accessible to you. And I know a few of you reached out that you won't be able to watch, you know, all the videos that you miss. So I will definitely down the road, have them all available in a free place to where you can just show up whenever you want and for free, just watch these old lives and these videos. Um, so that being said, there was something I also wanted to mention. So with the decision to end this group, and this is a lesson in and of itself as well, that wasn't an easy thing that I came to. Like I love, I love this group. I've been building over the past two years. I've been showing up here and sharing things. And so it was a difficult decision. And I know with a lot of our businesses, sometimes there are things where we're like, okay, so I've been doing this thing for two years, it no longer feels good, but like if I don't do it anymore or if I change what I'm doing, I'm going to feel like I lost all of that work I put into it or I lost momentum, you know, that, that I built or that I created over the past two years. And, the, and in thinking that, it's a completely normal thing to feel because that's what I was thinking, but I know that I've done a talk in here about mo momentum and, and the thing is, I truly, truly feel this and believe this is that you will not lose the momentum that you've created. So even though you may be thinking, well, I've, you know, for example, with this Facebook group, I've worked on this for two years, I've built this and created it and built this momentum. And now I'm just going to close this and I'm going to, you know, maybe lose contact with people that joined the group or you know all of these things all of these questions and i really want to encourage you to rem to remember that you're not going to lose that moment you can easily regain momentum like things are not lost and it goes back to running a business it's beautiful the fact that we get to try things and try new things and show up places and change our minds or down the road things don't serve us anymore or, or don't feel aligned and there was this really great metaphor like i'm i'm done with my notes i feel like i've just completely i've just completely gone off the rails which is fine that's what makes it fun um someone mentioned the other day that like running a business sometimes we think it's like a hotel 
to where our goal in our businesses that we run is to get to the next level, like the next floor, the next floor. And the goal is to get to that penthouse suite. And whenever we stop, like, whenever we get rid of that view of it, like we're trying to get to a destination with our business, we're trying to get to that next level and next level because that, that penthouse suite, that level of that success is what we want. But more so to just realize that our businesses, there is no end point that we're trying to get to. Like this is our life essentially. So as we go, of course, something that you do five years ago may not be something you wanna be doing in the future five years, you know? Does that make sense? To where we don't always feel like we need to continuously do something just because we've done it in the past. But it's great that we get to grow with our businesses and something we enjoy doing, we may say, you know what, I don't really wanna do that anymore or I wanna pump the brakes on that and try this or do this. Um, there was something, I mean, I had a similar experience in 2019. I was doing a lot of live painting. I was showing up, I feel like it was every other weekend I was showing up live and painting somewhere and I enjoyed that like I loved it that's why I was booking all these live gigs I wanted to get visible I wanted to meet people and really have all of that buzz going on but I realized at the end of 2019 I felt exhausted and I felt burnt out and it was almost like it was too much for me so I thought you know I'm gonna pump the brakes on live painting events and I'm gonna focus more on XYZ. And I think that it's great when we stop and we're able to say, you know what, I'm going to pump the brakes on this and I'm going to try this. And this is another reason why, and I feel like this could be like a whole nother live in itself, but this is a whole nother reason why I'm not a big fan of the um, declarative statements. When people say, uh, that, you know, I am no longer doing small paintings or I am no longer painting animals, you know, and they kind of make these declarative statements about their businesses. And I just feel like this is me personally, but I feel like that is just unnecessary because we get to grow with our businesses. Who's to say that down the road three years, you don't wanna go back to paint, you know, you wanna go back to painting small paintings or painting animals. And just to give ourselves that grace and that enjoyment of just free flowing with our businesses and let things shift and flow and just following what lights us up in our creative businesses at a given point in time. Like, I just don't feel like there's any reason to completely close a door on your creativity, on what you're creating or your process. Um, you know, art fairs, maybe art fairs aren't lighting you up and you wanna take a step back. That's great, that's perfectly fine. But rather than saying like, I'm never doing art fairs again, this is the last art fair that I'm gonna be in. Um, that's just me on a side rant, just because I see that from time to time. And I just, I love the idea of not using those declarative statements because they're just not necessary. Give yourself that space to change your mind about things, to try new things without thinking to yourself, well, I said last year I wasn't going to paint, you know, X, Y, Z, and now I'm kind of, I kind of want to go back to that. Just allow yourself to go with the flow of your business and follow what's lighting you up. So I'm going to check my notes. <laughs> yeah, I think I've pretty much said everything I wanted to say. Um, I just really, throughout this process of creating the group and things like that, I've learned a lot. And I love the fact that, you know, I, I don't know, it's just fun to know that you've created something and then you've learned, you know, you created it for some reason, you decided to go a route in your business for some reason, and then to almost have that maturity, or, you know, it's kind of a gift to be able like two years down the road of being a full time artist, you know, which is a fun, incredible statement to even say, to say that you can look back and say, you know, this isn't 
this doesn't feel in alignment and allowing your business to shift and grow and just that constant tweaking. Our businesses, we're not trying to get to the penthouse. We're creating businesses that we are head over heels in love with and want to show up to every day and want to be able to just have fun in our businesses without, you know, not to say everything's always fun. I mean, there's always like the admin work and all of that behind the scenes things. Um, but yes, going back to wanting to create a business that you absolutely love, making sure that you are checking in with yourself and you're just like, if you're getting burned out a lot, if you notice you're getting burned out, if you notice that you're no longer having fun in your business, to be able to stop and say, okay, what doesn't feel good? What would feel good? And just roll with that. I mean, not to say we take our businesses so like too seriously sometimes, but I think a lot of times we just get focused on that whole next level, next level that we're not allowing ourselves to just kind of there is no timeline. You know, you just show up and just enjoy what you do and learn. And learning is like the fun of it and changing with your business. That's a lot of fun too, because as it grows, then you grow and there's different things that you want to do and not do. And just allow yourself that grace and that freedom to change and, um, you know, follow what lights you up. Louisa, thank you, Jessica. You're an awesome person, artist and coach. Oh, Louisa, thank you. I appreciate you so much. Um, you're an incredible, yeah, you're just an incredible person. Oh, and I'm ho I hope that coffee, I thought I hope the coffee made it back from Columbia. <laughs> I want to, I'll get back to you. I do owe you a boxer. Um, yes, so everyone, this has been so much fun showing up. This isn't the end. Oh, and I've mentioned, okay, I'm, I am getting ahead of myself without looking at my notes. I'm on Instagram as if, you know, that hasn't been mentioned in this place. So it's Jessica underscore Hitchcock. And what I enjoy about Instagram is that I could show up there. I can one-to-one -one chat with you. Oh, it did. Wonderful. Um, I could show up there. I can have one-on-one -on -one chats with you. I can do these voice messages and videos. Like, I love that stuff. And what's also neat about um, Instagram, which I've learned, is that they have a close friends list. Now, I'm going to be doing Instagram Lives. I'm going to show up in the stories and still do little, like, um, lessons and things that I'm learning, coffee talks, um, yeah, because I used to do coffee talks and then that turned into just like long live videos. But what I do want to do, like with the close friends list, I do want to share more behind the scenes of my art business. That was another thing that when I asked myself, like, what is my intention? Well, I want that one on one connection. I love showing up and just sharing random thoughts that I have, um, lessons that I've learned, but I also really enjoy what I want to do is to show more behind the scenes of my art business. Like when I plan a collection, what is my actual collection launch process? Um, I'm releasing a collection February 1st. I'm not doing that process for this collection. So if you're following along there, I am not following my process. I've just been kind of painting and enjoying it and just because um, January has been weird. I had COVID at the beginning of January. So it's just the year started off oddball, but, um, Hi, Deidre. Um, so yes, but I'd love to share, you know, when I launch a collection, what is the process that I generally will go through? You know, things that I'm learning. So that is, is those are things I will share with my close friends list, but that's not to say within my regular stories, I'll still show up and go live. I will still share, you know, coffee talks, little things that come up. But um, if you wanna be on that close friends list, you can, send me a message, you can comment in this group, or just find me on Instagram and say, hey, add me to your close friends list. Um, because down the road, I really do like still having that intimate group, that intimate connection, um, you know, with, with all of you. If you wanna see more behind the scenes, I love sharing that kind of stuff. Um, so that was something that when I asked myself, you know, what's my intention? What do I really want? What would be fun? And to really bring back more of that one-on-one -on -one connection um, and really be able to share more behind the scenes of my business in 
addition to showing up, sharing lessons, sharing things I've learned, um, because that's a passion of mine. So by closing this group, I am in no way, shape or form closing mentoring or teaching because I love that. Like that's, I, I just absolutely love it. So really just bringing everything back to one place of my artwork, my showing up, painting, selling artwork, and also mentoring and teaching and sharing. Like that is my passion. And I feel like I could do it best when I'm on one platform in that place being Instagram. So on that note, it's kind of sad. On that note, I'm going to end this Facebook Live. Again, the group is closing January 31st, but I am downloading the videos um, and a lot of I say the content, but really the videos, all of these lives. And I will, I don't know what that will look like and I don't know when it'll be, but it will be in some sort of a free library or a free vault where you can pop in, watch the videos on your own time. Um, because not to toot my own horn, but I feel like there's a lot of really great content here. Um, you know, if there's ever a video you want to revisit, you can absolutely do that. And I don't want, you know, the good content and, and all of this helpful information to disappear into the ether um, that is the internet. So that will be available at some point in time. Um, everybody, thank you. I will let you go on that point. Um, have a great Friday and a great weekend. We'll chat soon.